Welcome everybody. We are back with another deck profile and this time again with the winner. Uh today it's gonna be Bloody. He won the Ultimate Cup in the EXO6 format from the 10th of August from Raiden Trade. And yeah, uh he has a spicy deck. And uh without further ado, Bloody, do you want to introduce yourself properly? Yeah, um I'm Bloody, I'm from Spain. Uh I'm usually play in Paddy's store in Madrid. Uh, and I play this this deck list um, science BT. I, I don't know. I play all time this deck because I really love it. You will see. Mm -hmm. And I'm in in a team that uh, I play with my friends. It's not nothing. Um, oh. not, nothing more. It's just friends like uh, we like to play together and go to any. In the tournament, presencial or only, uh, we are sleeping forest, mm -hmm. and that's all. Just want to say it because they they really are good friends. Yeah. So there we see the sleeves again. So yeah, um, I would assume those are your eggs. So let's get right into your deck. Uh, you played, you know, three angels. So I would assume nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, I think this this deck, these angels are pretty good deck for this meta mm -hmm. and, and first of all I really like the uh, this deck because I I like uh, the Digimons not all of the meta it's for me I like angels I like Patamon I really love Angelmon and Jewelmon because I, I, I see uh, Digimon first when I when I was a kid and when I think when I see this deck I say I need to play this. So it's really pretty good. Uh, I I I mean I I finally win. Yeah. So uh if you want to play this this deck uh with this video you will learn to do it cuz mm, it's good deck but it's not really deck. It's really hard to play cuz you have um more things to do and you make to you must to choose one for for play better all right so let's get to the x i would assume it's four uh tokemon yeah, i play i play four i play four x i play four tokemon mm -hmm. uh this x as it's normal to play this in in all uh, yellow yellow yeah. decks because uh, gives you free free draw for all you need maybe yeah. you can use five but i really think four for consciously is perfect all right then let's go to the rookies and i think i mean there's one rookie that we all know is going to be there um but let's see this, yeah this i mean patamon really? does need introduction right yeah i think uh, all people know it it's the most popular card i think in in this deck Fair, then fair. I have three Kudamon. Uh, I use this for um, uh, search some some cards I'll need, but maybe it's not um, more necessary. But it's good. All right. Uh, she, she gives you Tamer and and Digimon, so it's it's good card. I mean, most of the cards in the deck are vaccine and then yeah. also angels. So yeah, it's it. Uh, then I have two Salamons. Mm -hmm. uh, I have two because um, I usually use the second effect. This effect is uh, when I have three sects, uh, securities, I can take the top to my hand. And if I have two, I can put one in my security. So if I have two and I'm I'm low, I I can um, take the the game off to me. It's yeah. it's good to me, and then the more important is the inner date, because it's all turns and um, make you clean um, level threes like new memon or something like this, because uh, gives uh, two tp less and one mm -hmm. digimon when a guy remove it. So I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, two pillowmons. Uh, this card is usually to to use it it's good uh, 
against Numemon. It's good against um, a lot of decks. Yeah, really. seven great demon <laughs> lords and stuff like this. No, actually, not seven great demon lords exactly, but like uh, it, it's Numemon. It's good against them. It's good against Demon Lord because uh, he can use a good amount if you have ah, this Ah, fair, fair, unfilled. fair, fair. But so um, it, it's good. Doesn't it also restrict you by playing effects? Because it's an all-turns effect yeah. that says players. Yeah, I, I, it's, um, I, I play by effects too. Yeah. But um, I can evolve if I want to take this ah, effect. Fair, so fair, it's fair, fine. Fair. And, and if you play a uh, mirror match, this help you. So and I I normally don't play a uh, mirror match. <laughs> this this deck is not most popular. But I mean, not now. I think those I think those two is is good. All right, then I would assume those are all your rookies. Um, if I count correctly, this should be eleven. Uh, there's no Ukumon. Yeah. Why is no. that so? Um. Because you come on, give you draw or memory, but uh, doesn't activate Sokomon. Sokomon give me give mm. me draw, so I don't really need. Um, and I'm a I'm a deck uh, who need to level up. Yeah. And I can level up into you come on. That's that's so fair. That's fair. It's it's good. You come on. You come on. It's mm, really good, but not in this deck. Okay. Also, if I'm seeing it correctly, Luxmon is also not um, in yeah, this deck. Yeah, I, I, I mm, think it's good, but Kudamon is better because uh, he can take uh, a tamer. Fair, fair. Uh, okay, I see. I see. You will see why I need a tamer uh, mm -hmm. when when we we we'll get there. More. Yeah. So okay, yeah. then um, I think that's it f for my questions. Let's uh let's talk about the level fours. Yeah. Level fours are for Gatamon mm -hmm. and for Angemon. That's, That's all. it. All right. Okay. That's it. I mean, Angemon is uh, I mean, also a really good card in like a Angel's deck, being able to. Evo into yeah. it for free with Patamon, it goes back into security if it dies. It potentially can remove uh, a virus type uh, Digimon. Virus. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a lot of virus. I mean, yeah, okay. but maybe maybe you can you can clear Defexmon, it's virus. Oh. Um, if you play against uh, Fenrir Logamon, uh, it's virus too. Uh, Demon Lord, but you want to say uh, use it on Demon Lord and Numemon. Uh, X, uh, it's it's virus, and he has a uh, hard uh, on deletion uh, effect. So if you put in in his uh, security, he has activate ah, uh, on deletion. Fair, fair, fair. So it's good. Uh, you can use it on Numemon X or Platinum Numemon that has both on deletion. Okay. Then usually you don't use this effect, but when you use it, uh, you are you are pretty pretty good. All right, and then, then Gatomon being able Gatomon, to. Gatomon, uh, I think um, Angemon is so strong, but I think Gatomon is better because okay. he has a really, really good uh, interactions with his first effect. That uh, when a card is removed from your security sack, you you win one memory. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty good because um, it's all turns. So if he attacks you. You can use it and you gain one memory. Maybe you can uh, win your turn for this card. Fair, fair, fair. And he has uh, any interaction with uh, Revelation of Light. That is an option that we'll see. In a second, uh, yeah. Yeah, that is crazy. And the most important for this card is Inedit Barrier. So give gives you protection to your vital uh, in Digimons. Pretty, pretty good. All right. Then uh, thanks for your insights. Uh, I don't have any particular question. I mean, Gatomon is an obvious choice. It's really good. It goes well with uh, Patamon. Andamon is also. Um, but I, I'm i curious about the consistency to only have eight uh, level fours. Mm. But if you can find them with Kudamons, 
Uh, you can evil into them with Patamon. I guess it's not the biggest problem. And we're going to see for the level fives why it's not the worst thing to yeah. just have level fours. Eight level fours. So, yeah. Um, let's go let's to go level to fives. Level five. I have four Magnamon uh, from this. Into, yeah. This and... And the one Oh, okay. I have only these two, but um, these cards are um, pretty good because has on play effects both. Yeah. Uh, and if you see, this has a uh, six cost, so um, that's why I'm sometimes uh, has no level four, but I hard cast level five. Fair, fair. Then uh, this is a. Uh, um, the bread and butter, yeah. This is a K. So this make you evolve uh, into level six from two less and give you blocker of all your angels. So this card is really good because if imagine if you are um, nothing in in your board, you play this for six and you can digivolve into level six uh, in one turn. So. Set. It's pretty good and make you um I'll, when give you blocker, you can defend your security, your Digimons. It's it's pretty pretty good. Okay, yeah, I can see that. And Andromon Ace, you mentioned earlier, you teased it. Revelation of Light is uh, in the deck, so you're gonna also mm -hmm. play Kavi. So um, I I can see Angemon Ace uh, as a f four off, but I'm curious of why you don't play M Magna Angemon Ace, you know? Yeah, I I think it's pretty good Magna Angemon Ace, but I don't have um, I can I can make it uh, fit in the deck, okay? Because I I I need to use other things, and um, with my level six. I thrust my my securities, so I have n no more securities usually. So yeah. I think Angemon Ace is better. And first of all, um, he she she gets she gets uh, until end of the turn. So it helps you to kill Magna X yeah. or Tyrant or something like that has protection. That's fair, that's fair. I mean, we saw it, uh, I mean, I, hope, I guess you also saw it last week. We had the offline regional in Hannover, where also the winner was um, Yellow Vaccine. I mean, Yellow Vaccine and Great Angels are not the same, but also the winner of that event chose to play four Angemon Aces because, um, well, it's until the end of their turn, minus six. If you have another effect that's going to give into the end of their turn, like minus eight, minus seven, which I think do minimum gifts, but we get to that. Then you can easily remove anything that is uh, a hindrance. So yeah, I see, I see, I get that. So um, yeah, let's just move to the to the star of the deck, the level six. And uh, I mean, I guess okay. do minimum doesn't need any introduction, but a lot of people don't see this card a, a lot. So yeah, but this card is crazy. <laughs> So you see, we see four Dominimons, Shubimon Ace, and the, okay, okay, I see. Uh, Domini, uh, it's the K of this deck, because, I mean, this card is perfectly, because it gives you all turns protection to all of your angels from leaving the battle area. So mm -hmm. if, he, if he goes to um, security, you can protect them. So go to hand, you can protect them. Go to the deck, you can protect them. So it's pretty, pretty good. Um, first, and um, he hash on the leash uh, when the Javon, sorry. Uh, you can call our level five uh, angel from your security. So give you more um, um, aggressive because you yeah. have two, two Digimons in, in your board. This card, um, I think it's mm, the first mm, card you can read if you want to take to make your deck list for for angels. 
Fair, fair. It's it's so good. Then uh, Cherubimon, it's mm, the card that's helped you to win against Magna, Magna X, because he he gives uh, the uh, the reduction until end of the of the turn. So ah, okay. You can you can hard cast or digivolve for anything. Uh, for kill uh, Magna, but you need to take uh, to have uh, uh, um, three Digimons mm -hmm. of, uh, for for use it, because uh, he he gives uh, four GP less for each other Digimon. Okay, but I think there's a if I remember correctly, I didn't get to see your matches yet, but mm. I think there's a combo where if you have Magna Digimon. The, like the from EXO6 that searches the stack, plays out Dominion, Domin uh, evils into Dominion, a Dominion effect, you can search your security and play level 5, you play yeah. another Magna Angemon that does the same thing, he will evolve into Shirubimon Ace, and yeah. then Shirubimon Ace, when digivolving, also plays another unit, and then, uh, yeah, that's then it. it's basically minus, at least minus 12, um, or like, I think do minimum gives also minus seven until the end of their turn. So it's at minus seven, minus eight, so minus 15 at least. And then if you play another body, minus 19, I think that's high enough for almost yeah. anybody in the current meta game. And then uh, I see two Zafimons from BT14, I think. Yeah, it, it is. This card um, is. Mm, Perfect for aggression for offensive because give you security plus one, mm -hmm. uh, and and this effect is all turns all turns when a card is added, uh, gives uh, seven GP less to your one Digimon and security plus one, so it's good for um, kill something for for this effect, and if they can kill it, uh, it's a permanently um, aggression. Okay, because you you can you can uh, add a card of security with any card really, and you can start to clean your uh, his board or attacking with security plus. It's pretty good and it's mm, good for, I mean, uh, It's good for recover plus when the evolve recover one. Mm -hmm. It helps you when you are low. If the other deck is um, aggressive, like in your memo, you really need this because uh, Domini uh, uh, call from your security, so you give you one security less when you fair, use fair, it. Fair. So but this is this is good. I think two is perfectly. All right, then uh, I have nothing to add. So let's go to uh, the Tamers. I mean. You, no, you... I think uh, I use this one both. Oh, rune mode. Okay, yeah. I yeah, mean, I I need to use it because it's pretty good. Just <laughs> but only one, only one, only one, mm. only one. Because it's not your um, win your condition. Win con. Yeah, yeah. It's not your win condition. It's just for uh, win one mm, matchup for new memoir or something like this. That helps you and win your one turn for you. It's good, yeah, but it's not uh, your. I mean, yet. okay, I can see it. I mean, uh, it helps you start a turn. It's searchable uh, mm -hmm. via Kudamon. So okay, I can see. I, I forgot about it. I thought you know, great angels are like an archetype, archetypal deck, and rune what doesn't seem like an angel to me but i digress yeah. <laughs> but yeah um all right i think that should be it now for the digimon um uh, so we go to the tamers and uh yeah i can we see it tk tk yeah best boy to carry setter okay from bt8 and three carry bt4 okay so I mean the TK is an obvious choice, right? TK yeah. being able to, you know, cycle not cycle your security, but place and set up your security with um a vaccine, which is most likely a great angel. 
so there's that and also gaining memory for the recovery carry as a mem setter yeah it's mem setter that gives you memory too true you if, you, if you so are adding yeah it's too good and this carry yeah, I added because his name carry fair uh, they cost three so it's pretty good to just use it and help me uh, against Magna X because uh, usually Magna X uh, attacks and re-attack because mm -hmm. uh, his effect so he attacks me and I can use it these ones and ah, it's my turn. fair I see I see this and uh, that I say Gatamon when a card is removed I win one memory so both are okay you attack me okay my turn so you you can't attack me both okay fair I can see that um, there is a I mean, we saw your Digimon, we saw Angemon Ace, we saw the Gatomon. Um, so I'm curious on why you didn't choose to use the other Kari, the mem setter from BT15. The one that says if I, they're trash, they get played out. I think the second minus one. I really like this Kari. Uh, but I think in this uh, meta, uh, I can use it. Okay, fair, fair. For... For Magna X and something like this, are it's pretty hard to play it, but I think it's better than this, but not in this meta. Okay, I can see. Maybe in BT17, um, maybe the meta we'll is uh, more favorable for that. But yeah, okay. Then let's move to to the options. Yeah, the options are pretty simple. For Revelation of Light. Oh but wow! Okay, okay. I mean, um, okay, th this sparks a lot of questions to me uh, because, first of all, you play TK. I mean, Revelation of Light is a good card. Like, no no doubt about it. Minus five onto the entire board until the end of their turn is uh, is a pretty powerful play. Also, if you use it aggressively, you can minus five their security and you can play also something out and place it because you have a lot of carries. I see it. I don't, I have no doubt about it, but... Emissary of Hope seems such a like mm. like a Emissary good card. Hope, it's really good card, but um, I can evolve from other ways like you see Patamon or Magna Angemon. They evolve me uh, from three into four and from five and into six. And five from into six. So I really didn't need didn't need it because. Okay. Um, and I think if I has this card, uh, Emissary Hope, in my security, I don't like them here. Because uh, um, security effects of Emissary Hope is just called our Apatamon. So I yeah. don't want to have it here because I can play with my Digimons in security and I don't want to take it. But if I look my security and I see this, I think, okay, I win. Yeah, okay. I, I, I see the point now. Uh, this reminds me, um, coming back to your Tamer choices, um, yeah. you played TK and you played Kari and the other Kari, but you don't play TK and Kari because, right, thinking about it uh, as we go, Revelation of Light needs a Kari on board. I mean, you don't play Emissary of Hope, but he needs a TK on board. And uh, I think the TK Kari, um, like Dual Tamer, they also benefit of you being on low memory a uh, low security yeah. count so it's it's good but uh tk carry uh, both but um cost is four so yeah okay i see you don't have this a is way why to... i choose this okay this is why i choose this so i can make okay three and i continue my deck because usually i have the memory setter so i play this and continue to my game Okay, fair point. Also, um, this uh, lets me gave me the idea since I saw the purple Kari and you have yellow Tamers. Flame Half Scythe is not a choice in this deck mm, no. because of space. Yeah, uh, yeah, because of space and because um, I think it's not good uh, on meta. Okay, fair. I think fair, it's fair. not good on meta. Just for uh, mm, six DP less, it's not enough uh, right now. Only yeah. against 
on nah, it's not good at, okay. at this moment. I want to say uh, one thing that if you have Ma uh, Domini ev evolved into Magnanger that has evolved into Gatomon, that's perfectly okay because you uh, can't uh, get off of your of your bow for his effect and he can attack you and you can block it and you have barrier so this Digimon when it's like this when barrier and Domini he can die yeah he really can't die anyway only can the DJ the DJ okay. is hard but this Domini with barrier and vlogger is okay you attack me okay I block you Fair, okay. fair, fair. You makes okay. It's pretty, pretty good. That's why I say Gatamon is mm, the best uh, level four, just for Warrior. Okay, I see, I see that. Um, all right. Uh, I mean, there was the deck. Do you have any like? I mean, you went six six zero one, so you yeah. were basically undefeated. W what did you face? Um, you know, in the tournament. Okay. I play against Examon first uh, round. I think Examon has surprised me because yeah. I I didn't see anything. I didn't see Examon, so I must to check uh, what uh, they do. But it's good for Domini help me because uh, uh, he can bounce me or something, and he has a body. Yeah. Uh, that that can protect from my DP reduction, so it's a pretty good matchup for me. Then I play against four Magna X. Form okay. Four Magna X, and it's all hard to play it. It's really hard, but as as I say, I I'm prepared for play against Magna X with Cherubi uh, and Geo or something. Yeah. I play an another against Numemon. Mm -hmm. uh, Numemon, uh, you you destroy Numemon with Revelation of Light. Yeah, it's perfectly. And I play in the final against Seven Demon Lore. Mm -hmm. That is good matchup, but hard to. I we play just one game because time we play f uh, first of one. Oh, and. Uh, finally, I survived to two Ogudomons. He has two Ogudomons. He make both uh, effects of Ogudomon, and I survive because wow. because uh, Domini. Yeah. Or, uh, he 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 can protect them all. At, yeah, fair, fair, fair. Dominomon has. Um, I mean, his effect, his Odin's effect, being able to protect everything at the same time is good, but. It um, leaves you really vulnerable to Defixmon. I mean, if somebody plays Defixmon, DD drop everybody, and then uh, yeah, goodbye. But in the okay, um, I didn't want to interrupt you. You can you can continue. Yeah, uh, I'm in this game against Demon Lord. I must to hard cast uh, Domini uh, for twelve. Hard cast like wow. this, because he has the the DJ. I see. Oh he yeah, has, uh, he has uh, yeah, Belzemon. The death uh, Belzemon and Deathxmon. I see he he added with uh, I don't know with added, uh, but I I have to, into memory and I see. Okay, okay. then Do yeah. Domini. Then okay, you can the DJ, but okay you can't. Okay, I see. It's I see. it's it's a hard play. That only you can do it if you know how to to do it. Okay. Because okay. he is in ten. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess sometimes it be like that. Um. Do you have any final words for the people? I mean, you said uh, at the beginning and during the deck profile that great uh the three great angels are a pretty good deck, a consistent deck that you know if they have the minimum on the field. Especially with um, Gatamon, Magna Angemon, and Dominion, your board is invincible, and you got a lot of aggression, a lot of tools to deal with the current matter. Um, do you have any other tips? You know, 
how, yeah, um, how I, to improve with this deck. I want to, to say something. Uh, if you are against uh, Numemon, your mulligan is carry and this. Just. Yeah, okay. I see. Just. And um, your mulligan too, I think mulligan is really, really important. Uh, you try to mulligan always into Patamon. Because you really need Patamon uh, for for win your matchups. Then, if you really like this this deck, if you want to 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 play it, um, you need to try and um, play your own list. Because this list is good to me, but I know other people that play this this deck from uh, my friends with other cards or moving and have this more or something like this. This is a um, a deck that has many possibles. Okay. So you can do, you, you try it, you play it. And I think this is a most enjoyable deck because all you can do it. All right, I see. Then, um... If there are no any you know, far, last um, shout outs, then I really thank you for your time and for the in depth um, explanation of your deck. For the people uh, wondering about the exact deck list, I will upload uh, either a picture of the deck list or like a link to um, probably Eggman's deck builder on the exact code so you can test it out in TTS or D DCG or just in general yourself. And um, yeah, I really appreciate it. If you, any final words before I s stop the video? No, it's fine. All right, then uh, that was thanks me. For, thanks for your time too. Ah, oh, no problem, no problem. I do this. Uh, I love doing content for Digimon. So yeah, mm -hmm. uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching it. Uh, and I'll be back with the next profile, hopefully soon. See ya.